What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Chucky Season 2, Episode 8 here today. This will be the recap for the Season 2 finale. This episode kicks off with a recap, just revisiting what happened last week with Andy shooting that Chucky doll. Dr. Mixter running off with the doll. And Kyle asks if you think Chucky's whole life is flashing before his eyes as the doll dies. In a flashback with Dr. Mixter, we see Charles talking about killing his mother. And then we see how Chucky and Dr. Mixter have been working together since Season 1. The last Chucky doll in Dr. Mixter's arms that you saw last week with her running off with, this doll in between that and Andy shooting actually attacked her, then proceeded to switch bodies with the Dembala chant. So the doll Andy just shot is Dr. Mixter, not Chucky. Chucky goes back to Dr. Mixter's office and retrieves a hidden good guy doll from a vault. We then jump to December 22nd back in Hackensack. Lexi is at a group for recovering addicts, admitting that she just finished rehab. Jake is present too, and Lexi confesses that her mother is a monster, but Jake thinks that she was about to snitch on Chucky. Like, it seems like she was going to reveal Chucky as a source of her trauma, but she just ended up revealing her mother. <laughs> Lexi and Jake are dropped off discussing Devin and the community services scenes they've been serving jake is staying with lexi for the holidays and lexi's mom agrees to let him stay devin comes from upstairs surprising jake with a hug lexi's mom during all this you see that she's just putting on for the camera because it's revealed she was live streaming to appear charitable jake insists he needs to go get devin a gift and devin says he just wants to spend time with jake for christmas a tv report says dr mixter was found dead recently it sounds like incarnate lord is closed so it seems chucky transferred his soul into that last doll from her office that's all i can assume glinda makes a hospital visit to glenn who was still recovering from the gunshot tiffany calls asking how glenn is glinda reveals that they have days to live according to the doctor glinda is working with tiffany to save glenn and they have to sneak tiffany inside to perform a ritual in order to do this chucky is shown searching for weapons to buy for christmas and seems impressed by a chainsaw and remember there's a chainsaw kill that's going to happen in this episode uh, he's purchasing this with uh, dr mixter's debit debit or credit card it seems to so then we jump to December 3rd, December 23rd, I mean to say, where uh, Michelle Cross is live streaming outside her home with Caroline. Tiffany sneaks into the hospital dressed as a doctor and no one seems to recognize her. She goes to meet Glinda in Glenn's room. They plan on sending Glenn's soul into the Glenn doll, but a cop comes in and Tiffany attacks them. Glinda answers the door when a nurse knocks, explaining everything is fine and she just or they just dropped a vase. Glinda turns a defibrillator on and kills the cop making them catch fire as a result. Glinda and Tiffany watch him burn while saying Merry Christmas to each other. A nurse walks into Glenn's room and finds the cop dead with Glenn and Glinda dead as well, the human versions anyway it seems. Tiffany has merged Glenn and Glinda into the Glenn doll and now you have this wonderful voice cameo from Billy Boyd who is back to voice the role. Now this this might be a little confusing to some people obviously because why do they sound different when they're not in the doll but you brought Billy Boyd back. It was fun, I get it. But come on now, <laughs> it's ridiculous how their voices are now different. Glenn asked to be called Gigi now and says that they want to go to England. Tiffany tells Gigi to dial back on the on the accent. Gigi says they will miss they will miss Tiffany and agree to let her take them to the post office. We jump to Christmas Eve and Devin is receiving a gift from Jake to help him get back into podcasting. Jake notices Devin is cold towards his gift because Devin quit podcasting a year ago. At Christmas Eve dinner, Michelle Cross talks to the kids about her followers and asks Caroline if she's excited for Santa to come. Jake starts venting at the table because Devin didn't like his gift and they argue about Chucky plus more relationship drama. Uh, Michelle tells them this is inappropriate table talk and Lexi says she has something to say. She apologized for how she's perceived her mother and blaming her for the trauma she has. Jake insists Michelle listens to her daughter Vin after she tries to shut it down. Good guy doll footprints are shown outside Michelle's home in the snow. Lexi talks to Devin and Jake wondering if they will be like Andy and Kyle in their adulthood being obsessed with Chucky. Jake reassures them Chucky is dead and they all love each other Devin and jake make up then kiss before bed chucky is shown coming down the chimney dressed as santa with a chainsaw caroline is sleeping with the wedding bell doll chucky enjoys milk and cookies while telling a twisted christmas story tiffany pulls up to michelle's home and wants to take the wedding bell doll but it's gone from the yard she sneaks inside the house to get it michelle comes downstairs after hearing noises to confront tiffany and then ask if she want if she's wanted for murder and of course tiffany who she believes is jennifer lies 
lies it off. She asks Michelle where the wedding bell doll is because she needs it. Chucky's Chucky chainsaws Michelle cross from the back right in half as she tries to record Tiffany. Uh, Tiffany says Chucky is supposed to be dead and Chucky asks why she is here. Chucky says he plans to kill all the kids except Caroline because they have potential. Chucky plans to kill Gigi too, but Tiffany says Glenn and Glenda are dead. Lexi jumps onto Chucky, asking what he's done to her mother. Lexi ends up chainsawing Chucky in half, killing him. Tiffany goes to get the wedding bell doll, but Jake and Devin surprise her with knives in hand. Lexi joins them covered in blood as they stalk Tiffany. Caroline steps out, joining Tiffany as an accomplice, telling Lexi and her friends to put the knives down. Caroline reveals Lexi and her friends will be sorry, and Chucky has lied to her, apparently telling Caroline she was adopted. Caroline leaves the house with Tiffany. The police come to clean up the mess and question the kids and mrs fairchild comes in to help the kids the kids decide to tell her about chucky mrs fairchild says she knew it and we jump three weeks later to tiffany and caroline tiffany gets a call from nika who apologizes and nika says she plans to torture and kill tiffany for revenge now see this part was a little confusing to me i don't know if that's actually nika herself because if it is good for her <laughs> but also at the same time i don't want her to go to jail or anything or if nika still has a piece of chucky inside of her because then what happens next in the episode is tiffany tries to perform the dimbala spell on the doll with caroline in the room on this bell doll she's trying to obviously transfer her soul into that doll the bell doll is revealed to actually be chucky now this is also something i'm confused about was this chucky the whole time since the very beginning because if so that explains the context of how caroline might have been getting fed fed lies all season so the bell doll is real to actually be chucky in a wig the doll comes to life takes off the wig takes off some context i believe they come come to life to kill tiffany presumably caroline watches with a smile the episode basically ends with tiffany screams being heard so it's not clear if she just died or not it's not clear at all my assumption is that obviously it was left on a cliffhanger for a reason and she is not going to be dead if anything chucky might basically go take it upon himself to do what he did in bride of chucky i could see him doing that he doesn't want to be alone after all he could kill tiffany and then put her put her soul back into a bell doll i could see him doing that and there is also this very christmasy like countdown at the end i forgot what it's called i can't think of it i haven't really it's it's do it's dog in my memory right now but it's something related to christmas on the 12 days of christmas something like that but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and there's a video in the description i have links on social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course reviews you like to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video